The task force on South Florida crime hopes this checkpoint will help stem the flow of drugs and illegal aliens. Just how much it's going to inconvenience law-abiding motorists will depend on how often they go to the Keys and when they go there. Traffic was light this afternoon, so no problem. But returning travelers yesterday faced a 19-mile jam. Even the prospect of that happening again has frequent travelers angry. US-1 is the only way you can get down here. And if I have to be held in a traffic jam, it's really going to complicate my situation. The Border Patrol issued assurances today that things will go smoother next weekend. But Key West merchants are worried that prospective tourists will go elsewhere. And some say business is already hurting. I feel it's hurting our business because today we are very slow and people are complaining about it. This is normally a peak season for motorist travel to Key West, but the Key West Chamber of Commerce is angry not only over the inconvenience to tourists, but to residents of the Keys who travel outside the county. We're creating a U.S. border, our, my, our way of thinking, we're creating a U.S. border within a county in the state of Florida in the United States. And we're not a foreign country. If they want us to be a foreign country, maybe they should tell us that. In principle, Key West merchants say they're glad to see the federal government finally doing something to help out with South Florida's problems. The problem is, they say, this is the kind of help that's going to hurt them. Mary Nissenson, Channel 4 News, Key West. Key Westers say the inspection for drugs and illegal aliens at the Monroe County border is only one of many ways in which the southernmost part of the state's been singled out as a foreign nation. So at noon today, they made it official. Former Mayor Dennis Wardlow redubbed himself Prime Minister announced Key West's secession from the Union, rechristening it the Conk Republic. Cheers went up as the new flag was flown. If Key West is a foreign country to Washington, Washington shall represent a foreign nation to Key West. <laughs> Businessmen say the traffic jam-ups caused by the checkpoint kept away a lot of tourists. So the more enterprising among them made up for that by capitalizing on the revolution, selling Conk visas, flags, and other memorabilia. But if the secession was symbolic, town officials say they won a real victory from the federal government in court yesterday. They are going to stop the searches. They are going to keep the roadblock in, but at this point, on the record, they're saying they're only going to keep it in for two weeks. The crowd was appreciative, though a little less serious. I think it's great. I think it should have happened a long time ago. Only moments after the festivities in the town square, citizens of the New Republic began celebrating their independence and enjoying the good life as former Americans. We talked with the State Department yesterday to see if they had any plans to establish diplomatic relations with the new country. They said they hadn't really thought about it, but pointed out that if Key West did become a foreign nation, there'd be a permanent checkpoint between Dade and Monroe counties. That'd be an ironic end to the current controversy. Mary Nissenson, Channel 4 News from the newly founded Conk Republic. Independence Day in the Conk Republic. It's not all that different. The flag is raised, the cannon booms, the beauty queen beams, and the band plays the national anthem. And after the music, politicians make patriotic speeches. We proclaimed ourselves as a free nation, a separate from the United States of America, if they were going to put a roadblock up and cut us off from the rest of the United States, we wanted foreign aid. In addition to conch republic history, there was personal history from a genuine conch. My great-grandfather was extremely rich. Of course, he was a pirate. They're still there, which is one of the charms of Key West, and why thousands turned out today to celebrate the third anniversary of the conch republic. Well, I think one of the great accomplishments was letting the higher powers know that they weren't going to tolerate being oppressed. And I think that's how it all began. What do you think some of the great accomplishments of the Conk Republic have been? Um, breezes. <laughs> Good breezes. Yeah, right. So much for the serious side. Independence Day in the Conk Republic is for fun, including a bed race down Duval Street. This entry experienced the few mechanical problems, like the wheels falling off. But others said it was an unforgettable experience. It was rugged. <laughs> Harder for you than it was for your steeds. No, I think my horses had the rougher time. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of the perfect pina colada are the whole idea here. They call it the Conk Republic, but it's really a state of mind. I think I'm getting there. In Key West, Michael Putney, News 4.